Okay, so we're basically uh, finished fabricating the, uh, the actual spare tire mount. And uh, I've got it bolted solid there uh, to the bed. And uh, so now what we need to start focusing on is uh, how, to, how much to actually cut out of uh, this fender. And I made kind of a preliminary line just with, uh, with a pencil. Um, but uh, now I need to uh, really uh, focus on it and uh, try and get it as accurate as possible. So uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so to start with I'm just going to use the old uh, tape measure here and my Sharpie. And when I measured out the diameter of the wheel and tire was actually about 28 and a quarter, 28 and a half, something like that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and call it 29 just to give myself a little extra room. So, of course, half of 29 is 14 and a half. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a rough center point here in the uh, in the bracket. So, it's not dead center, but that's going to at least be my reference point for all my measurements. So, I come in here put 14 and a half on my dot and then come out here and that's 14 and a half here out on the fender. I'm going to do the same thing going down at least try to go down this way and get my mark down here Call that good, and uh, so now we got our at least our two points, our one up here and our one down here low to uh, cut the arc. So now what I'm going to do is uh, get some lines along the fender here, and we'll tape that off so we got a mark on the fender. Okay, for this part, I'm just going to come in and use my old trusty T-square. And basically all I want, I'm just going to put it up here flat against the uh, mounting bracket and I'm going to make marks. And I, you, you know, this thing is, all, this T-square is almost an eighth inch thick. So considering it's touching on the back side here to uh, the bracket here, you want to mark along the inside. And we'll kind of just come. We'll make several marks here on the fender. This sharpie is not working very well. There we go. Kind of come in here. I'll have to flip this around. Here on the inside. And so basically what that gives us is a straight line that is, uh, I guess you'd say parallel with uh, the mounting plate here. So we know, at, at, I'll put a piece of tape and we'll measure off of this, this line. I have to apologize, I'll have to pick this up and show you. It's my tripod is just not tall enough. So we got this one, this one, this one, and I'll make a few more. There's one here and one here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this line and we're going to measure off this line. So we know it had five inches of back spacing. So we'll go five inches back. And we know that the overall width of the tire sidewall to sidewall was nine inches. So we'll measure four inches in front of that. So we get a total of nine inches. So I'll keep making some marks and uh, then we'll uh, start cutting. Okay, so I've got my marks made and I double checked everything so I had to make some new marks. But basically I've laid down this tape line and I've drawn some arrows to tell me, just to remind me uh, which side of the tape that I'm working off of. So I've got the tape all laid down here and uh, that's this is going to be our baseline. We're going to measure five inches back 
and we're going to measure four inches forward uh, to get the total uh, amount of material that we need to cut from this little uh, section of the fender here. So I'll uh, do some more measurements and uh, lay down some more tape and then we'll start cutting here in a little bit. Okay so I got my two tape lines here laid out. Uh, this one obviously coming is directly below and flush with uh, uh, the mount of the, sp uh, the spare tire mount. Uh, this tape line and this particular edge is five inches back. That's for our back space. And I haven't done the four inches forward uh, because honestly it's uh, four inches forward uh, is out past the edge of the fender. So it's all just gonna have to get cut out. Now I just need to double check everything on my uh, radius cut here uh, just to check and make sure everything is right there. Uh, but I'm trying not to get too complicated with this because uh, like I said in the uh, first video this is a uh, it's a throwaway fender I mean it's junk you can see uh, back there in the back it's got a rust spot so this fenders junk anyway so this may be just a, a case of a cut and fit and cut and fit and cut and fit until I get it all right and uh, then uh, we'll just see how it looks if it looks cool then we'll do it to the new fender if it sucks then uh, we won't I'll just be out some uh, some time and materials and some hardware that I bought. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think it's just about time we start uh, cutting on this. So uh, let me get my tools and uh, we'll get to it.